Most people don't realize this until they hit their first job. Cybersecurity in theory is very different from cybersecurity in reality. They're two different worlds. In school, you're taught the whole domain. Network security, cloud, crypto, incident response, governance, everything. But once you get into the workforce, you quickly learn you're only touching a small slice of a much bigger machine. And nothing is clean or ideal. You're trying to secure systems that are old, brittle, or half-patched and held together by technical duct tape. You're not applying textbook solutions. You're reverse engineering workloads. You're dealing with deprecated operating systems, trying to work with constraints, politics, budgets, timelines. And in some industries, especially like the Department of Defense, you're spending more time on documentation, system design, and compliance versus actually working with security tooling. You don't get to implement the perfect security solution. You implement the solution that fits the budget, the time constraint, and the tech reality around you. Cybersecurity isn't about memorizing the right answer. It's understanding systems deeply enough to build the best possible solution while everything else around you is imperfect. So how do you fix this? One, stop expecting ideal environments. Assume legacy, assume constraints, and assume that you're going to have to compromise. Two, you need to learn system architecture, not just tools. And three, practice solving problems with limited resources. So what can you do right now? I would recommend you build a home lab with an outdated operating system. Have minimal resources and force yourself to secure them. Document everything that you're doing, every change, every configuration as if you're in an industry. Figure out the industry that you want to work in. Figure out their security frameworks, their tools, and the restraints that they typically face.